Hi, this is Amanda Castile, and I have with me today David Crouch, and we're going to be talking to you about business analysis, a practice in ITIL 4. In ITIL 4, the, the purpose of the business uh, analysis practice is to analyze a part or maybe even the whole business, define all of the needs, recommend solutions to address those needs, and, and ultimately to solve a business problem. So what we're really trying to do with this uh, business analysis practice is to, uh, is to enable value creation for our stakeholders. Fundamentally, ITIL says that business analysis is really an intellectual discipline. But what do we mean by that? Traditionally, uh, business analysis has really served as the liaison between the business and the IT, really translating business requirements back to the more technical IT people. But over time, that role has really evolved, especially when we think about supporting a digital business. Um, a lot of times these days, this business analysis practice is performed by teams, not just by individuals. So we often have like agile product uh, owners serving as business analysts or even IT service owners. Um, it used to be that, that the BA function in terms of being a role was a specialized function. But these days it's much more interdisciplinary in nature. Um, some organizations have um, entire uh, business uh, analysis practices throughout the organization. Those tend to be more digital organizations, but in less digital organizations, it tends to be a little bit more traditional. They focus more on products and services. What does a business analyst actually do? Yeah, so I've, I've worked with business analysts in the past and I don't think any of them could probably articulate what they actually do, um, which is obviously not great. Uh, like David said, uh, it can be so, so broad that it kind of just becomes a catch-all and loses its meaning. In terms of the best practice, uh, what you really want to look for uh, in a business analyst is somebody who has experience documenting requirements um, in an agile environment, creating user stories, um, helping to create business cases, definitely process mapping and analyzing ways to improve. They, they definitely need to have project management skills um, along with um, some ability to translate the technical requirements. Um, I always joke about the movie office space. Um, I take <laughs> I take the requirements from the engineers. Um, it's kind of the same thing here. You, you do need somebody to to take the requirements from the business and translate it into into the engineers uh, language. And you definitely have to have emotional intelligence because you ha you have to be able to work with the business. You have to be able to understand their needs. And they can't always they they don't always know how to articulate it perfectly. A lot of times people ask me, well, how do we how do you know that you have a good uh, business analysis practice or even even good people in the role? And I would I'd say it comes down to a few things. Number one, stakeholder satisfaction is really critical. So whoever those stakeholders are, if they're internal customers, if they're external customers, they need to feel that your organization really gets them, really doesn't just gather the requirements, but really knows who they are. Um, another one is um, to the extent that this is related to projects, if the projects are getting done within scope, on time, within budget, business analysts often play a big role in making sure that that happens. And then if we're really talking about more agile or, uh, project management or product management, making sure that our features and that our user stories are appropriately prioritized, you know, often prioritized based on what our stakeholder really needs. There are a lot of different tools that can help the business um, uh, analysis practice or can help the business analyst. I'd like to just show you one of these tools that I found really useful. This is a requirements traceability matrix. And this is the kind of document that um, helps you to document all of your requirements, to trace them from all the way from the customer, all the way through testing and ultimately implementation. This is something you can amend uh, for your own needs, but a really critical document. And uh, if this is something that you'd like to you'd like to look for, please click on the link below and uh, feel free to uh, to amend this tool and to use this tool. Thanks, everybody.